Greetings and welcome back. We're clicking along here. What we're going to do here in this lecture is we're going to create a button so that when we click it, our money goes up. Just like any kind of idle clicker game. You can almost think of it like a cookie clicker, for example. So let's go and jump to our 2D view here and zoom out just a little bit. And let's create a button right here so that when we click it, it's going to update our money. So I'm going to get rid of this hello world text in there. I said I didn't like it before, really. And I'm just going to change it to say money so that we know that that's going to get filled in with the money that we have uh, programmatically in the game. And let's just go now and create a button here. Click add. Go to control. And if we come down here, you'll see there's base button. And we got button. And just so, out of curiosity, we can expand this, you'll see we have check boxes, check buttons, color pick buttons, menu buttons. So you got a lot of buttons to work with. I encourage you to experiment because they're all going to work pretty much the same. Once you understand how these controls work in Godot, you're going to be able to use all the controls just as easily as I use this button here. So I'm going to click and open up this button, make it a little bigger, and drag our button here right under our money. And just like before, there's nothing in this text property. So let's go ahead and change that and put in click me and hit enter. So here's our click button that when we click this, we're going to add to money and update our variable. And Godot makes this super easy. If we click here and click on node, we can see there's all of these different signals that we can capture and send this signal on to other objects or other nodes and I'm gonna move my little recording out of the way here just for this little bit because what we want to do is when we click this button it's gonna fire off this signal pressed right here so this is the event we want it, we could get when you click the, the button down, we could get when you actually release the button, when you release the mouse button, but we want it when you click and then release the button. That's what this press signal will do. And you'll notice that there's a connect right down here at the bottom. So just make sure you have your button selected and you have your signal pressed and we click connect and you can see that we're connecting a signal pressed and we want to, of course, talk to our panel because that's where our script is. And it's going to create inside the panel for us this method in our node on button pressed, just like that. And so I can go ahead and take that and connect. And it creates this function for us. The F, U, and C on the front here tells you that it's a function, just like our ready one that gets called automatically by the engine. This one gets called automatically by the engine and we've created that signal. So I can come in here and just type in print. You clicked the button as a string and let's run that and see what happens just as a debug out from our signal. So when I click this, you'll notice down here in our output that we get a you click the button. So the print is a simple little function that we can call and just shoot out objects or nodes are strings like this to help us debug and it's the same kind of methods that I'm sure you're familiar with if you have worked in Python or in in C sharp or unity other applications or other other platforms so now let's see how we can add to our money and this should be where most of you if you're programmers already will know where we're going with this but we can just come right down here and say money equals money plus one so we're just going to add one to our money and of course we need then to update the text because if we just update this and run it and click the button we're not going to see anything so we need to copy this for now and just paste it down here so we've we're going to set it here when we start just so we see the zero then we'll set it here again every time we click the button let's run and when we click, we can see our money going up. So very exciting. It's pretty simple. We will also, in this lecture, take a little bit of time to see how we can create our own custom function. 
very simple to do here. We don't want to have this redundancy where we update the money label here and we're updating the money label here in the ready. And there might be other places we would update it as well. So let's go ahead and make a custom function by typing func update UI for user interface and an open close parentheses and a colon. So this lets us create our own custom function just like that. And we can cut this out of ready and paste it into here. Now, the one thing that's important is just like with Python, is the indentations here. And so I, I want to talk about that a little bit. Is that Godot, like Python, requires that inside of your function you have these indentations so that it knows where the actual commands and statements are for that particular function. So you can't have spaces in here. It has to be just like what it expects. And you can see that these right here, it doesn't like having this ready with nothing in it. That's where the pass came in. So if I came in here and said pass, I didn't need to do that. If I come in here and say pass, this red will go away. So this is how you can have a method or a function, if you want to call it that, that doesn't have any commands in it. And that's why that was erroring there. And we're getting that red. But I want to call instead update UI and open close parentheses. And then I want to come down here and replace this as well with update UI. So we get the same result, but we've created our own custom function here for updating the user interface. And we can put other things in there if we need to. And then every time we call update UI, it's going to update the user interface here, or our, in this case, our text label. So everything's going to work to say we can run it just to make sure, and you'll see. And just like that, we have a very simple little beginning for our little idle clicker game. And so just like that, we've learned how to set up a signal. Remember, you just come here, click, find the signal you want to send, click connect. You're going to pick that you want it to go to the node that you want to send it to. In this case, we're putting everything on our store panel right here. And once we set that up in our script, we have a function and we can put whatever code we want in there. Real simple. If you've worked with other game environments, game development environments, you probably are already thinking, wow, that's pretty easy to set up uh, these connections. And also it's familiar a little bit as well. So, and that's always good. So in our next lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to actually get up where we can buy quantities of stores. Because that's one thing about these idle games is that we have different quantities of stores that we want to buy. You, you don't want to just have one store. You spend your money to buy additional stores. So we're going to set that up here in the next lecture.